Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's Porter. I'm gonna do a follow up on the um, the street light pole that was blocking the fire hydrant on Fearful Street in in the Back Bay. So I'm just gonna call Water and Sewer and see what this take is on it first. Um, Are they in your office now? Tell them it's inside the trash bin on the right hand side. All I gotta do is roll it right out. Let's see what they got going on here. I think I got the right number. Hold on. Maybe. 617-989-7900. That's what it should be. Operations. Yes, I got a question. Um. Who governs the uh, fire hydrants? Like where a fire hydrant should be placed and what should be placed around a fire hydrant? Uh, hold on, I'll transfer you to that to the department that would be able to answer that. Hold on one second. All right, thank you, sir. We're gonna touch all the bases here. So we're gonna touch with water and sewer. Then we try to touch with fire department and public works. Hi, uh, this is Mr. Porter. I got a question. Who um, who governs on where a fire hydrant should be and how close it should be to a light pole and to a building and all that kind of uh, stuff? Um, uh, wait, can you just hold for a second? Sure. Um, Boston Water and Sewer actually does that. So Boston, so I, I got a question for you. Um, you guys have an existing fire hydrant that's already been installed. And someone installed the light pole directly next to it. Now, oh. is, is that something that should be done that way? Because it's, it's obstructing the fire hydrant. Um, I'm not sure, but let me see if I can transfer you to someone who might know the answer. Okay. Thank you for holding. We look forward to talking with you soon. Please hold the line. We'll be right back with you. Yes, um, uh, this is Mr. Porter. I have a question. Who governs like where a fire hydrant should be located and what obstacles should be next to the fire hydrant and how close they should be and all that kind of stuff? Boston water and sewer it depends. It okay, depends. so I got I got a I got a very serious and a very important question, which is a problem in the city of Boston. Down at Fairfield Street and Newberry Street in in the back bay. You you guys have an existing fire hydrant that's been there for years. Now, somebody decided they're going to erect a uh, light pole right next to the fire hydrant, where it's obstructing one of the uh, the the gateways or the nozzle. Now, who would oversee that? Boston Public Improvement Commission would make that decision. There's actually mm -hmm. people that plan all that. They're putting a new street light right next to a hydrant. Well, it's, it's already there. It's one of those 5G um, t light poles. Basically, it's a light pole with an antenna on top. Alright, so it's... Hold on. Hold on. And it's definitely so, a no-no. It, it, sh it shouldn't be like that. It's... It's what, Newbury, you said? Fairfield and Newberry, right right in front of the CVS there. So 
So the city of Boston public, uh, you said the city of Boston public improvement commission. Public improvement, yeah. Public improvement commission. But hold on a minute. Yeah, that's interesting. They authorized that. Near the CVS. Right near the CVS. If you're on Newberry Street and you come to, to the intersection of Newberry and Fairfield, well, if Newberry's one way, so it'll be on your left hand side. Right at that corner, right there. I talked to a couple of firefighters and they definitely said that's not acceptable at all. Yeah, that is interesting. That does look pretty close. It's it's basically it's less than six inches away. I actually measured it. It's less less than six inches away from it. Yeah, that is interesting. That's like right next to the hydrant. And I'm trying. I find I find it hard that somebody would approve that and get away with it. <laughs> if you don't believe me, you can go down to yourself and get a tape measure and measure it. I can see it right now on Google. I don't have to get on that. Yeah, it's crazy, right? Well, not only that, even turning the, the wrench, it would run into the wrench when they try to turn it to open it. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I thought I was seeing things at first, but then when I analyzed it, I said, there's no way this post should be that close together. Like, if they had to gave like 10 feet or so, I would say, okay, it's fine. But, you know, even... Maybe ten, maybe five feet. They could have got away with it, but that right there is definitely not. Yeah, that is. I don't know what to say about that. Yeah, that's really close. That's right, right up against the hydrant. So that pole is relatively new. It is. Okay. It, de it definitely is relatively new. They they've been doing a lot of work with the five G um, towers in the city of Boston. And there's numerous contractors that are going around the city of Boston just what they're doing, they're putting the poles up where they think is feasible for the signal strength of the, that area, but then they're not looking at where they're, they're putting them at, though. Yeah, but we should have approved that. If they were doing that, we, we look at those plans. I'm just surprised. We probably approved that then if they. That's what I'm saying. Um, somebody's getting paid a lot of money to not look at that. That's what a lot of people pointed me in the same direction. Somebody told me public works, but I don't think public works gets that in deep into it. Public works, if that was a regular street light, like without the uh, antenna wires on it, I would say so. But because that involves the antennas on top, that has to be from a higher person up. Well, they're involved. I mean, street lighting and all that. But this is more public improvement commission because I know they. They usually send the plans to us. I don't know if we ever got this plan, but... Uh, but, but wow. 61735, one of those numbers. And say that number again, 6635? I think it's 4909, but I, that might be public works, but they could probably give it to you. I'm not sure. There is a department that oversees, that's overseeing all the street lights. Right. Yeah, I'm going to keep checking, because... Uh, they they try to tell me there's public works, but public works told me that they don't really um Well they're involved with it, public works is too. I mean they send it to all the agencies. Right. Public improvement commission, which I think is part of public works, kinda of like overseas public works. Uh -huh. They do herbs and stuff like that. So it would be interesting if someone there said, Yeah, we approved that. But it's close, it's too close. Right. Yeah, I just want to keep. I want to. Well, first of all, I want to see if they can correct that issue, and I want to prevent it from happening again. Yeah, that is interesting. Try the Public Improvement Commission. Just say, you know, they, I mean, it's so obvious. All they got to do is Google it. Because they're oh. the ones that open street lights and any big changes on the street. Okay. Across the street, there's another pole. Yeah, I guess. Is yeah, the one directly across the street the same way? But that one's not obstructing it. That's just there, you know? Yeah, there's nothing there but that. But even this one here, the one with the... It's close to the catch basin, but the hydrant between the... Yeah, it is. 
it's almost like they should have stuck it on closer to the well, I guess the street light, the traffic light there too. So they well, they, they should have checked with you. You you have more knowledge about it than the people who are making the decision. I know, but it's, some of it's common sense. If someone goes out and they do the survey and say, "Yeah, we can't stick one here before they even submit anything." Right. That you would hope they would did, did it would have did it that way, but unfortunately, that didn't happen. All right. See what you can find out through public improvement. They're the ones that oversee the whole thing, the whole. Public the whole Improvement Commission. Okay, I'll give the, I'll give them a shot and see what happens. Good luck. I appreciate I appreciate your help. Thanks. Okay, so Public Improvement Commission. Um, I'm just gonna try the um, three one one number, I guess, and see what they give us. I don't have I don't have the Public Improvement Commission number, but see how it does. We'll see what they um they come up with. Thank you for calling Boston three one one, the city's twenty four hour constituent call center. Please hold, and your call will be answered momentarily. Boston three one one, how can I help you? Yes, can I have the uh, public improvement commission? Sure, one So they're gonna give me one of those long weights. They're not going to pick up the phone, but um, I'll get back to you guys on the next one. I keep trying. At least we know which department we have to reach. All right, guys, until next time, nice Porter. I'll catch you on the next one. Yeah, they're going to keep just transferring over. You can't hear those clicks, I mean, it's just cycling over again. All right, next time.